Hey, John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I'm trying something a little bit different here. Uh, you know, I posted a video that said that that it was going to be my last weekly video. I was going to start doing monthly videos, but I got a I got a little bit of flack from it. Actually, it was more support, right? So I appreciate that. A lot of you that have been watching my channel, watching my videos, have uh, have said that. Hey, I don't want, don't want you to do once a month, but you know, good, you know, do what you got to do. And I kind of felt a little guilty. Said, ah, well, is there something I can do here? So actually, I'm recording this on my iPad Mini. I'm going to try my uh, my Hero camera here as well, and then I'm going to experiment and see if I can come up with a way to be able to do this really fast uh, in order to be able to get more videos out, maybe even faster than once a week. I don't know. We'll see once once I get this down, but uh, but we'll see what happens. Let, let's see see how this goes. Um, normally, I shoot with uh, with my wife's. Uh, she's got a, a Canon, a kind of a, a high end camera. Uh, and, and so I have to borrow that and set up all the equipment and stuff. Uh, at some point, maybe I should just get my own and have it permanently set up and then make it real easy. I may do that, but for now, uh, I'm going to try iPad mini, going to try a couple things, going to do very little post-processing and editing, which I, I really don't do that much anyway, but we'll, we'll see see how this goes. So uh, one, one other thing that I want to talk about is that I'm thinking about expanding. In fact, I am going to expand some of these videos to cover more areas. Already, this channel is not really, I mean, it's not really targeted totally to software developers, right? Uh, and that, that's kind of been the goal here because I want to, you know, I, I like doing sort of motivational speaking and talking about things, helping people, you know, kind of coaching them uh, with, with problems and just sharing my experiences. So I'm gonna kind of expand that area out to finances. I know a lot of people have been interested in that and probably cover some fitness topics on here as well. And, uh, and yeah, we'll, we'll see how this goes. You know, I'm not making any promises that it's going to be <laughs> necessarily once a week. We'll, we'll see how uh, how frequently I can do this and, and how this works out. I'm going to look at the feedback and, you know, I'm going to try start trying more new things. I'm going to try to really be expanding in different directions and going more with the flow of things rather than the schedule. I've been kind of living and dying by the schedule and that's good for being really productive. But it's also can be stressful after time and, and it kind of limits you. So, you know, I kind of feel like I've reached that phase where that productivity was really important and I've benefited from that. And now I need to break out of the mold and start going in different directions. So with that, uh, you know, the first video I want to do kind of in this series is on finance. And I want to talk about kind of my theory on finance and why it, why I went the road I went and kind of uh, how, how it shaped what shaped my main thinking. I'm not gonna go into too many details yet. There's gonna be more videos on this subject. But, uh, but you know, to give you a little bit of background, um, I'm, I'm essentially, quote, retired. You know, the way I define retired is when you don't have to work for, for your money, when you have enough money coming in passively that you can live off of that. And I reached that point probably sometime in the last couple of years. Uh, I'm, I'm just about to turn 34, so I did that pretty young. So that kind of gives me you know, without being arrogant, uh, some some room to talk about this subject, right? Because I'm not just viewing things. I'm not just, you know, I'm not a financial advisor who is working a nine to five job uh, in telling you how to make, how to save and spend your money to make millions when I haven't done it myself. I have done it myself. I've been a real estate investor since I was like 19 years old and, and I've been successful with that along with, with the investments in my career. So, you know, to to give you my story, here's here's basically how it goes. When I was 19, I got really lucky and uh, starting out, got this really good job where I moved to California, to Santa Monica, and I was making 75 bucks an hour at like 19. This was back in, you know, what, 2000, about 2000, I think, during, during that whole dot-com boom, right? So, uh, didn't deserve the job, you know, didn't, wasn't qualified for it, but hey, that's what happened. So I was pretty happy about that. You know, moved to California. Um, so I was maybe making, you know, $150,000, $160,000 a year. Pretty dang good. I was single by myself, you know, little apartment. Uh, I, I figured, okay, I can probably, I mean, this is pretty dang good. I, I'm basically, quote, rich <laughs> at that time. And I thought, okay, well, I could probably retire early. I can become, you know, independent. Like, so I started calculating the numbers. I thought, okay, if I'm making $160,000 a year, maybe I could live off of $30,000 a year if I live pretty frugally. Uh, I'm gonna have taxes, and then maybe I can save $100,000 a year. So I figured if I saved $100,000 a year, it'd be hard to do, 
uh, then how long would it take me to retire, quote, be rich, wealthy, whatever, or whatever it is, right? Uh, I said, okay, well, a million dollars is a pretty good mark. And I calculated that out and I said, wait a minute here. I'm going to have to like <laughs> live frugally for 10 years, working my butt off, not buying anything that I want, uh, saving every penny I make, and then I'll earn a million dollars. But inflation will make that million dollars a lot less, so I might actually have to earn 1.5 million within a 10 year period. So we're talking like 15 years of this. I have to maintain this job, which you know I'm I'm not qualified for. That I should you know I might not be able to make find jobs making 75 bucks an hour or more. That's already kind of the top of the the pay range, uh, and I'm gonna have to do that for 15 years. That that didn't that didn't fly well with me. I I, I started to think. There's got to be a better way, right? This doesn't make sense. Like no one can do this if this is what they're going to do. And even, you know, a small investment making a couple of percent per year, still 10, 15 years. I mean, you projected out 20, 30 years, sure, that you're going to make a lot of return compounding your interest. But I, I had to figure out something else because that just was not going to work. And I did not want to spend my life working 30, 40 years at some job, scrimping my money, trying to save for retirement someday. I've seen many people do that. I didn't want to do that myself. So that's that's it. I'm going to leave the video here and uh, and you can kind of draw your own conclusions. I'm going to talk more about this later on, but this maybe, you know, to just open your mind to this idea, just run the numbers yourself, figure out how much you could possibly save max per year, figure out how long it would take you, uh, you know, figure maybe even just a three or 4% interest rate, which, you know, you really can't guarantee much more than that and see how long it will take you to hit a million dollars, which most people think you can't retire off a million dollars. I'm going to tell you about how you, you actually can. That's plenty uh, if, if you're smart. But but anyway, that's that's what sort of opened up my mind and got me thinking about alternatives, got me started in the real estate investment, which I'm going to talk about more in, in upcoming videos here. Well, hopefully, uh, hopefully that's got you thinking some. Uh, like I said, uh, this is going to be kind of a different ride here. We'll see what happens. I'm just going to try to you know, go different directions and, 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 and see, what, see what I can do uh, and uh, produce these videos. We're going to get some high quality ones once a month, but I'm going to be interjecting these ones in here pr probably once a week. We'll, we'll see what happens. But uh, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. would really appreciate that. If you have any comments or questions, uh, actually, if you have any questions for me to answer on this channel, that'd be great. Uh, send me a question either through a comment or john at simpleprogrammer.com and I will answer your question in a video uh, if, if, I, if I can. So yeah, take care and uh, I'll talk to you next time.